Welcome to Toffee TV. It is the Stand 11 show, Arsenal versus Everton, the final game of the season. Pretty chill about this one, isn't it? You know, well, for at least one of the sides, it's a pretty chill about game. Um, for Arsenal, it is absolutely everything, isn't it? Um, and it's going to be interesting to see how the game unfolds. I must admit, part of me is fearing this one a little bit, but this and Everton have been pet. Very professional most of the season. You can only really count a few games um, where we haven't, you know, clearly away from home where we, we we haven't been at the races. Obviously, the Chelsea game was the last one and that really didn't turn out well for us. But let's hope for um, a performance that, we, that at least we can hold our head up high afterwards and say, you know, ev every player did their part and tried playing against a very good side. So... It's obviously not going to be easy. Uh, in goal, Jordan Pickford um, obviously had a very, very good season and, and, and getting a little bit of acknowledgement for that as well, um, that he has had a really good season. So that's really good from his point of view. Obviously, a big summer for him as well with the Euros coming up. And, um, you know, he's not not the only player this, this game that you look at and think, could it be their last game in an Everton shirt? Um I'm sure Jordan Pickford doesn't want to leave Everton, but who knows? Who knows what's going to happen if uh, you know if people come in for him and the price is just too good to turn down. But yeah, hoping for that last day clean sheet as well. Obviously, being great of of late, and um, if it wasn't for that Luton game conceding, then you know we'd have a great up. He would have been still in the fight for the Golden Gloves. Um, as well, but uh, sadly that's gone now. Um, at right back, uh, the hot, well, to be honest, at left back and right back, I was thinking about this because obviously the left back position is going to be one that's severely tested in this game with with Saka playing. And I was thinking whether Ben Godfrey should start at left back and plop, and and then, but then I was thinking should he start at right back? Um, it's hard to know because. Just the way the way Arsenal's front three are. Uh, obviously, Saka does play predominantly on the on the right hand side and comes in. And yeah, it's 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 an interesting one. It's an interesting one. But I think I think I think I'm going to go for Ben Godfrey at right back. Um, obviously, didn't play last weekend, but I just think because it was Goodison and uh, who we were up against, I just think the manager probably thought, you know. Last game at Goodison Park this season. Let's play. Let's play him. Um, let's play Seamus Coleman. But I think for this one, Ben Godfrey start the game for me. I just think his pace and physicality are really important. Um, and I've been there the second half of the season. We've seen a lot from him, haven't we? So he starts at right back and at left back. I'm going to go for Ashley Young. I know a lot of people might say, "Well, you could just start Ben. Uh, you could start Ben Godfrey left back." But I just think then you're moving around a couple of positions. I just think Ashley Young has been has been all right at left back. He's not, you know, he has had moments and I imagine he'll have moments against Saka, but I imagine anyone would have moments against Saka. He's top class, absolute top class. Um, So it's, it's just one of them. I think Ben Godfrey's better at right back than he is at left back. And yeah, um, centre backs, James Tarkowski and Jared Brantwaite. Once again, I mean, I just hope this isn't the last time we ever see this partnership play together. My heart says it will be, and my head says it will be as well, if I'm honest. I just can't see someone thinking it's going to be a good idea to leave Ben Godfrey another year at Everton when there's the potential to go and get him now. I really can't. So um, this might be the last time, and that is, that's just so sad. That's so sad that... We've only really got one full season out of Jared Brantwaite. Listen, Taki will be there next season and he'll be still putting in 100% performances every week. But just with Brantwaite next to him, it's just been a brilliant partnership and been the backbone of Everton this season. And it's, it is, it is, it is sad. It's, it's, listen, they're the realities. We know the realities of, of Everton at the moment, but, um, it is really sad that it probably will. When there's other players that you're second guessing, I do think Brantwaite, someone will think this is a brilliant time to take him off Everton. And even if he doesn't go into someone's first team straight away, I just think there's no better time to take him because he's proved himself, I think, this season. So, um, 
yeah, very, very sad. But that's my back four. Into midfield, it's just a kind of gay, brilliant news that he is staying for another year. Um, it's what we've all wanted. I think he's been brilliant in the last four or five weeks. I really do. Um, and he's such an important player for us again. And I think, you know, recently he's added some goals and has been playing a little bit higher up at times, certainly at Goodison Park. Uh, listen, he'll have his job cut out for him in this game, but uh, he's been brilliant and it's brilliant that he's staying. Alongside him, uh, Onana, who, again, he's another one that probably will be his last performance for Everton. Um, I think, listen, he's a top talent. I think he is. I know a lot of people don't think he's put it in for Everton or put the shifts in or whatever, but... He is a top talent, and I think you'll see that wherever he goes. Again, he's another one, wherever he goes, you just hope that we get a really good offer for him because obviously we did pay decent money for him, so we need to get we need to almost double our money to to you know to make it not make it worthwhile, but for us to get something out of it. Um so yeah, good opportunity for him. Um and again, you know, someone who's gonna go to the Euros and, and he is a very talented player. He's always wanting to play on the front foot and go forward. Sometimes that leaves him like, you know, vulnerable to, to, to a risky pass here or there, but I think that's what players do. When they play on the edge and they're playing higher you know, playing in teams that play in higher competitions, higher up the league. Uh, and ahead of them, um the Corey, I think. Uh again got his first goal last week. Didn't think he had his best performance last week. Uh, I actually wanted Schmitty in the team last week, but I just don't think this is the right game for that. I think we'll need to pack the midfield as much as we can and rely on set pieces. So he will p- p- play ahead of, of those two. On the right-hand side, James Garner. There's no Jack Harrison. And again, I just think you know he he's the ideal candidate for a team performance. And again, for the set pieces and what he adds, what he adds to the to the to the central central positions and joining in defensively. Um, and on the left-hand side, Dwight McNeil. And I think Dwight, you might see Dwight playing probably more on the left than he has in the last few weeks where he's been drifting into more central areas. We can't really allow Saka to have that much time and space. I think they're going to have to double up on them on him massively and that means he's going to have to keep that cheap on the left-hand side. Uh, and up front, Dominic Carvalhoen, who again falls into that bracket of will it be the last time we see him in an Everton shirt? Again, really, really hope not. But again, part of it comes down to him as well. You know, is he going to get an, a new contract? Is he going to take that new contract? If he doesn't take the new contract, then what option have we got to but to sell him? So, um, sad, sad three or four that you think looking at thinking, is this the last time we've, we'll see him in an Everton shirt? Um, but we know why that is, and we know that as a football club, we have to do the right things to protect the football club for the last season of Goodison Park so there you go let me know your thoughts in the comments do you agree do you disagree who would you have him for this game with it being a huge huge game I mean I know a lot of people might say play this kid play that kid or whatever but we don't want to be embarrassed either do we we really don't want to be embarrassed on the last game of the season so for me we go as strong as we can um, and try and make a game of it and I think that's important for for the league as well to show that so let me know your thoughts anyway give this video a like subscribe if you haven't already make sure to check out the match preview with Baz and myself if you want more videos exclusive videos no advert on the videos or the podcast join us over on Toffee TV Premier the link is in the description the QR codes come on screen now see you later